Okay, everyone. Let's talk about this Wakanda show that Marvel has announced. So Marvel has announced a lot of movies coming. We have Shang Chi, Eternals, Doctor Strange 2, Spider Man 3, and so many more exciting and new projects on the way. But there'll also be some shows. So let's get into it. So the first thing we have to talk about is that uh, there's news on the upcoming Wakanda show, and I have a lot of thoughts about this. So let's get into it. So. The first thing we have to talk about is that of how the show is going to handle the passing of Chadwick Boseman. Chadwick, Chadwick Boseman played Black Panther. He unfortunately passed away last uh, year. Very sad. Still kind of hard for, uh, to believe for me personally that he's really gone. But I think that the show has to address it. And what I would do is, is I would kill off the Black Panther character T'Challa in the MCU. I think that saying he died in battle protecting our nation and he'll be greatly really remembered is a great way to talk about it because you can talk about okay you know black panther died in battle you know he's a noble warrior but also you know um chadwick boseman was battling cancer so i don't know i just think maybe the show even uh begins with the funeral of uh, t'challa but i think that has to be addressed in the show so what should the show be about now, one of the reasons I'm super excited for the idea of this is the world of Wakanda is super neat. The technology and just the way it looks is really cool, and I really want to explore it. I think one great way to explore it is to kind of do the Mandalorian route. The Mandalorian took place in the Star Wars universe and found uh, a bounty hunter, and I thought that was a great idea because you really see his journey throughout the galaxy. So kind of my premise is, is that I think it would be cool in this show is if one of the characters is an unknown, an unknown character, um, and what I would have them is, is basically have them be, say, someone who supported that of Killmonger. Killmonger was the villain in Black Panther, and an excellent villain, Michael B. Jordan, raised the roof for MCU villains. And what made him great is that some people in the Black Panther movie actually believed Killmonger. So I think the main character in this show should be someone who believed in Killmonger. Not a main bad guy, not like one of the main people, but just someone who believed in the idea of Killmonger. And they're live in this show and they're say working. Um, I really like the Wakanda technology that is shown throughout um, the films. So maybe they're like a technology worker and then all of a sudden they discover this deep underground secret about Wakanda and its nation. I think the idea should be is that this Wakanda nation is kind of torn apart. Killmonger died and people are like, hey, well, he was kind of, had some ideas, but then T'Challa dies and that really just shakes up this nation. So Wakanda is, there's some unrest there. They're not in a total civil war, but there's some unrest there. There's some uneasiness. And our main person, Oh, we can call them Ruins. Uh, sounds like a cool name. And I, I don't know, came to mind. So Ruins, he's going to be, you know, going to this technology job. And maybe he maybe finds something. And maybe he finds out there's this big underground plot in Wakanda to overthrow it. And you kind of have this underdog story. People love underdog stories. They're so great. And he's going to have to try to inform some of the high ups in Wakanda that this terrible thing is going on kind of inside the city of Wakanda. That is overall my premise for this show. Because I think if you go the route of Shuri, who is T'Challa's sister, or other loyalty, it's very similar to the first Black Panther, which yes, it's a great movie, but I don't wanna repeat. So I think kind of doing this unknown character, but in a familiar world is an excellent, excellent way to explore it. I cannot talk about that enough. I mean, just look at the Mandalorian. Um, and the show would have a similar vibe. Mandalorian has that kind of underground feel to it. Um, I, this show would be, I would say, TV 14 or PG. Um, and, you know, it would be about Ruins, this guy who believed in Killmonger, kind of finding out about what's happening in Wakanda. And maybe, he, you know, he changes throughout the show. In Star Wars Episode Seven, The Force Awakens, we were robbed of having that Finn storyline. Finn, a former stormtrooper, who was bad turned good 
we never completed it. So I think in the MCU, in Marvel, Marvel says we can do it and gives us the story for this character who once believed in bad things, but he believes in good values in order to save the day. I think that just sounds really cool. Also, mini series for this, 12 episodes or so, kind of the length of, say, The Mandalorian, um, kind of that feel for it, about 40 ish minutes. I would do the screen technology. Um, whenever Wakanda is shown in an MCU property, it looks really great top tier stuff so i would say do similar technology i'd also try to have music play a big part in this show i don't know how they would do that but um i think if you got a great great composer and maybe match some of the action beats up to what's going on that would be really cool and you can maybe even do a spider verse route and having the main character ruins be a fan of music so there's a lot of ways you can take it um I don't know what I'll call this show, maybe like Wakanda Kingdom or, you know, something like that, um, or Kingdom of Wakanda in Ruins. I don't know. <laughs> I, I, I title not something I thought of, but just let me know your thoughts on the comments down below. I think this has the potential to be great because it's similar to MCU properties, but also different. Till then, this has been Pam and Darla. Take care and bye-bye.